Um, hello, Magdi. Hello, Holger. Just a quick question, because in the last sentence, um, there was a little dropout on my side. Uh, you said this truth must, must, be, be, yours. must be yours. Yours, like not used. I mean, um, yours. 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 Para, yes, yes. para usted. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. It was just interesting. I didn't know if it was my mind where there was the drop out. I didn't want to hear it. Yes. Or if it was tech technically the Zoom. I don't know. Yes. Because uh, yeah. it's about our own understanding. Because we are the sage. When we understand something, this understanding becomes ours. Then we can say with a cer certainty, we can express our understanding with certainty because understanding is experiential. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm still suspicious about my own understanding a little bit, but I hear you and I'm be with it. What you are suspicious about is your idea about your understanding. You can yeah. be suspicious about understanding. Thank you. Yes, you are suspicious about. Uh, where your understanding is that is there is at you're suspicious about the story that you have about yes. understanding yes thank you beautiful beautiful you cannot be suspicious about understanding it's not possible wow nice thank you either you understand wow. or you don't understand see there is no yeah. half understanding yeah, my my mother used to say there's no half pregnant. Yes, there's no half pregnant. Yes, <laughs> that's the same as understanding. Cannot yeah. be half pregnant. Thank you. So when we sense there is something we're not clear about. We keep probing and probing and probing until, aha, I, I got it. You rub you rub yourself against the tree of wisdom. Yeah, I hug the tree of wisdom. <laughs> then it hugs you. <laughs> you hug it, it hugs you. Because then you are the tree of wisdom. Hello, Suda. Hello. Yes. Hi. Hi. Thank you, first of all, for the thoughtful um, meditative thing. I have a question about the word surrender. Because of my... Understanding of surrender has always been in 
duality, like in a traditional religious sense, like there's a God and you surrender to God, not have your own will and accept everything and think thy, thy will be done kind of. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to non-duality and when we call it path of love and uh, surrender, then the question arises in my mind. Who am I surrendering to and what? Because if everything is just happening, what does surrender mean? Mm -hmm. So you say everything is happening. And uh, there is a happening around me, all sorts of things that are happening in the world, in the body. There's another sort of happening. There are also thoughts arising, but there's another sort of happening, which is a habitual, maybe a resistance or a habitual argumentation or a habitual... Um, uh, tendency to contract, fearful. Of, there is there is also something else happening, which is arising out of the uh, virus, the belief, the me belief, the belief that I am born, that this is a personal consciousness, a limited self. That tendency Most often, we don't notice it. It's operating as if uh, subliminally, and it is the spoiler. It is that aspect in our experience which bugs us. Um, so conceptually, when we come to surrender, there is the question, well, what is it that is surrendering? Who is surrendering? To what are we surrendering? And what are we surrendering? And all these questions, which arise from the belief, the initial belief that there is somebody surrendering something to somebody else for a certain purpose. Mm -hmm. Now, in the absence of this belief, in the complete absence of this belief that there is somebody, uh, that is a separate entity. The term of surrender doesn't mean anything because it's all already surrendered as a way of speaking. But to, we should be able, we should be careful not to throw the baby with the dish with the bathwater, the bathwater, bath because we're assuming that there is this belief, and experientially, most of us. Uh, still are sort of uh, experience that. So yes. given that there is a belief that there is uh, an entity, the surrender is uh, surrendering that. What does it mean to surrender that, this entity, to surrender this entity? To surrender this entity is, is to first notice it. You cannot notice, you cannot surrender something you're not aware of. You don't notice, right? <laughs> so first there is a noticing. So the surrender is calling to your attention to, okay, what is it that, what is it that I'm, lo I'm looking at? What is it that I need to surrender? So there is a looking at what is going on behind the scene. And to notice that there is this tendency to argue, to stand apart, to judge, to self-judge, to try to escape, avoid, etc. Various addictions. To, so noticing that. And the surrender is simply to cease and, and desist. Meaning to be still. To, upon noticing this tendency to want to defend myself rather than 
habitually go on with it, to explore simply being still, experiencing whatever, whatever is unfolding with that movement, with that moving, and see what, see what goes. Because the habit is maintained with the movement. The habit of resisting is maintained via the activity of resisting. The habit of judging and defending is maintained via the activity of judging and defending. So you can use whatever word you want. It could be to be still, to um, simply be and notice, to be open with that movement, not to pursue, not to move. This is the significance of uh, surrender, because if I tell you, oh, well, it's consciousness surrendering to itself, or there is nobody surrendering to anybody, there is nothing to surrender, or it's, okay, this, nice, 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 nice words, nice words. I was raised with the tradition where surrender was the ultimate thing right, right. In, the, in the duality mode as the way yeah. of death to... So maybe that's not then the term that I would use in, in speaking with you. I, I would, because it's a loaded word for you, forget about surrender. Um, there is an activity that is, that is work that's available to you. And the work that's available to you is to notice uh, within your body mind the the tendencies there are tendencies we all have tendencies tendencies i'm talking about tendencies that arise from ignorance from the belief that there is something at danger i need to protect myself i need to defend myself i need to make sure that my image is the right image that people's opinions about me are the right opinions etc you, you, you understand what i'm talking about all of that is is Ignorance, all of it, all of it, all of it, because there is intelligence in the body mind, how to relate with neighbors, how to relate with family, how to, but there is the virus has nothing to do with the intelligence of the body mind. It is, it is archaic. It is part of the culture, part of our tribe. It's, it's, it's something that is, uh, that we inherited via like a transmitted virus of the virus of ignorance. That's that is your work. Your work, an aspect of your work, is to have an inner radar to that, and not to to be courageous enough to experiment with being still, not moving, as this habitual tendency is wants to surge wants to wants to grab onto you and take you along the, the current the the direction is not to get on that pony not to ride that pony not to get into that into that canoe you get us be still make yourself completely available without knowing what's going to be in the next second or next moment, completely available in the moment to whatever is going to unfold. With determination. From yourself to yourself. So if I were to translate it, I would use, think of it as like in the way I understand, I just want to non-resistance to the now, whatever it is, whatever is unfolding or happening. Yes. Put in judgment, non-resistance to the now is all that. Yes, you could, this word, for no purpose, without a, without a personal purpose. Pure, 
experimentation, just a new path, a new relationship of myself with myself for no, for no purpose downstream. But then I would be lying, right, if I said there is no purpose downstream, because the whole purpose I know is there is something within me that is... You are lying to yourself. Yeah, You're right. lying to yourself when you when you when you when you go for a purpose because you never experience a second away from now. You never experience a, you, you've never had an experience of later. You've never experienced tomorrow or five minutes from now. So you're lying to yourself. You're lying to yourself by adopting the purpose, mm -hmm. by putting yourself in time, by imagining yourself in time. You're, you're cheating yourself. When I say without a purpose, meaning without a tomorrow, without, without a next, what's next, I'm speaking more with, in line with, with truth, with the truth of your experience rather than the truth of your mind. Because I know in your mind, like my mind, there is... Okay, well, I want to I wanna get better. Okay, I got it. But it's a fiction because that which wants to get better in time is, is lying. Is, you're lying to yourself. So, no, you're not. You, you're, when you said you're lying to yourself, when you said it, this, no, that's, you're not. You're lying to yourself in believing in time, in believing in 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 a, in a uh, few in it's, it's gonna it's gonna yield me for a better life or a better relationship or lesser or better or uh, whatever less suffering I mean less suffering or less suffering or less suffering that is my goal if you, but <laughs> Suda, if you if you think about suffering really if you because you know let's 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 be lucid about it we suffer because of time we never suffer in the moment I agree. Okay, so so when we buy into time, we're buying into suffering. When you buy into a better the, the, the better suda tomorrow, you're buying into suffering, but it's but it's 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 a pig with lipstick. <laughs> you're right. You, it's uh, it's for you to see it or not. And I I think you can see it. I I know you. I mean, I, I has I, I know you can see that. The next thing is once you see that is to is to live it is is to ex, ex, explore living it, explore living it whichever way whichever way it 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 speaks to you. But the the hopes if we live in hope. We're, we're, we're doomed because we, we come here to understand non-duality, to experientially, not to, okay, well, let's go to satsang and have a nice uh, conversation about non-duality. No, because we want to, to be that which the sages are speaking about. So we cannot at the same time uh, maintain our habitual mind and live our habitual mind and try to speak spoon feed our habitual mind which basically is saying you exist in time and space and believe me things are going to get better for you tomorrow if you get the non-duality thing right now you will have a much better life we can't buy that spoon feeding nonsense excuse my language and at the same time have a genuine a genuine no bullshit interest in true understanding and, and and a lived understanding, the understanding living itself. You see, so we can't hold on to our story because we don't want to sacrifice part of our story, part of our hopes. We don't want to sacrifice that. And at the same time, be the freedom of consciousness, be the freedom of the self simultaneously. We cannot simultaneously be in time and timeless, be be in time and in eternity simultaneously. It's yeah, you're right. I think there is um, addiction to the story, and there is an addiction to the idea or the notion or belief and uh, habits. Habit. That pulls that 
just pulls you or whatever makes you feel or whatever yeah, even but, the but there is something much stronger much m m the trump card is is i consciousness is this transparent presence is the trump card so i'd rather turn my attention to trump card rather than you know my addictions and i love this and play with that and toy with this i understand what you're saying but i i prefer the trump card I like it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> right. You know, it's just we're so playful, we're just sneaky with ourselves, you know. <laughs> we're like, okay, I look this way, I look that way. <laughs> mm -hmm.